What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is a, we call it a television show. It's basically a store here in Toronto, in Canada. And what we do is we specialize in this. What you see here is salt water, aquariums, everything to do with reef tanks. That's what we do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Subscribe. We do a video like this every day. I want to talk to you today about currently the most expensive coral in the hobby. This one here. This is called a, do you know? I think you know. If you don't know, where have you been? You should get out from under the rock you've been living under. This is a bounce mushroom. So bounce, bounce, bounce. Why bounce mushroom? Where does it get the name? Because it's got these, it kind of looks like a bouncy castle. Huh? Let me show you from the side. I have a couple different varieties I'm going to show you. There we go. Bounce mushroom. You see these vesicles that are growing out of it? It's like they are bouncing or like jumping right out of the coral. Bounce, bounce, bounce. That's a really good example there. Maybe I should grab the macro lens. Oh, that's a good idea. So, very expensive. A piece like this runs anywhere between $500 to $2,000 for a single coral. And just for reference, let me see if I can get something so you can understand the size of this coral here. Just for a little bit of reference in size, um, if you don't know what this is, we're in Canada. We have this little coin here. This one's called a quarter. I'm sure you're well acquainted with 25 cents. We have a moose on it. This is called a toonie, two dollars basically. It's a two dollar coin. This might be a better reference size for these bounce mushrooms here. So prices for coral are a little bit less expensive in Canada. I'm not sure how much something like this would go in the States. I think close to 50%, if not double the price. When I do look at some of the US websites and other websites in the States that are selling corals, quite a bit more expensive than what we pay up here in the lovely cold Canada. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my little demonstrations. Do not put money inside your tank. Corals cost money. Don't put money inside the water. So what are bounce mushrooms? They are a type of Rhodactis, which is a mushroom coral. And why do they bounce? So let me show you some Rhodactis I have over here. These are some regular Rhodactis. Well, not regular, they're very nice. These are very well-colored, healthy examples of Rhodactis mushrooms. This is one with like a blue base and orange. Here's another one that's sort of yellow. And I think I had a couple more I can show you of just regular. So these would be non-bouncing Rhodactis. Just, oh, these ones over here, these are also really cool. They run somewhere between 40 and $80. There's another Rhodactis. So as you can see, they come in a variety of different colors and they are soft coral. So which, what does that mean, soft coral? Oh, this is actually really nice too. Not a Rhodactis, that's a Florida Recordia, different type of mushroom. Oh, I found a couple more. Look at these ones over here. I wish these would bounce because if they would, they would become quite expensive. Oh. Little thing to note, they do have a sting, so they don't want to touch other corals. As you can see here on the LPS, this Rhodactis has stung it. Rhodactis are okay with Rhodactis and other mushrooms. You can see there, these two different species are touching. No harm, no foul. So why are these ones bouncing? Why do they have these really cool vesicles? Why are they so expensive and the other ones are not? We do not really, no one knows for sure why they do this. I've seen a couple theories online that say it has to do with stress with UV light. I don't know if that's true. It could be, absolutely. I guess we'd have to do an experiment, but if that's true, then should they not lose their vesicles if we take away the high stress conditions or the UV light? I don't know. Or are they going under, undergoing some sort of DNA or genetic change under the stress? Because if I grow this out and frag it, I would expect all the frags, a frag is a fragment of this one to have also vesicles and bounce just the way as this parent one does. Over here, this is Tia's Fluval Evo 13 and a half gallon, and she has, who's Tia? She's over there, this is the manager of our store. And she has an incredible collection of mushrooms going in here, some bounce, some not. Let me just show you what she's got going on. So this is called a, oh, right there, that's a hippie trippy. They all have fun trade names. Um, I don't know what the name of this one is. This is actually a, hmm, a St. Thomas mushroom. And it looks like it's a bounce mushroom. It's not quite, but this one right there, right in the middle of the screen, that is a very cool bounce mushroom. So, like I said, we're not 100% sure. Why is this one bouncing? And this one right next to it, oh, well, actually, now that I really look at it, let me grab the macro lens. I think I'm seeing a little vesicle that might start forming right there. Now we're talking up close and personal. Check it out with the macro lens. So that was the one I was just talking about, this bounce mushroom here. Check out this purple one. Oh, you see that? That little white vesicle that's starting to form. There's a couple around the mouth and then one over here to the right. This may end up turning into a bounce mushroom. Again, I do not know why. This is a Fluval Evo 13 and a half gallon aquarium. It's got a lot of coral in it. 
And the light we're running is the Hydra, Hydra, my, my apologies, Aqua Illumination Prime 16 HD. Why some bounce, why some don't bounce, I am not 100% sure. If you do know, maybe that's the question today, if you want to comment below so people can read through it. But I can tell you, if this turns into a bounce, I've never seen a purple Rhodactus with white bounce vesicle. So that would be pretty cool to see. This is another variety here of the Plutonium Bounce Mushroom. These run anywhere between three and five hundred dollars. Blue base with green vesicles. This is not as bouncy as some of the other ones we've had in the past. It's just the only one I had on hand to show you for the video. And then over here, a forest fire bounce. Very cool. Green base and then orange and white. Very nice. Piece. Very easy to keep. They do well in less than ideal um, tank condition so you know even if your nitrates phosphates a little bit dirtier it's a soft coral it's a mushroom they're going to actually thrive in those sort of conditions i would consider this an easy coral to keep even though the price tag the cost of ownership is quite high the only thing to really note with these in terms of care is going to be the light so they do not like a lot of light this is what i would consider a low light almost a very low light coral like a lot of soft corals like mushroom corals they can be a little bit tricky to frag. These have all been actually grown here locally in Canada, all aquacultured. These little guys have never seen the ocean, which is kind of cool, maybe also kind of sad, but all grown in Canada. Mm, probably never gonna leave these borders, actually. So what I say about fragging, it's because it's not like uh, like this over here. You know, hard coral, you snap off a branch off of that, and it's really, really easy. That's a forest fire digitata really nice example of one but super easy to snap it and glue it this isn't going to happen with this you'd have to cut it and then uh, get it to attach naturally what we do is we put a lot of our mushrooms in these baskets and you have to let its foot attach to a piece of gravel and then you can go ahead and glue that so not the easiest coral to frag and it will test your um, your cojones really because it's it's quite expensive and I, I, I'd be afraid to cut these but one of them is going to go into our farm the rest of them are available as of right now Come pick them up or we'll send them to you. If you can afford them, then kudos to you. Beautiful coral. And I think that's about, a, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else to say. Comment below if you know why they bounce. If you guys like the content, if you like the channel, come back. We're going to do this tomorrow because we do a video like this every single day of the week. Thanks for watching this episode of Frag Bob's TV.